Welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> How's Trey feeling? I'm not feeling great. <laughs> this is uh Okay, so okay. So no six gear reverse is Okay. Okay. Do you wanna go exchange? We might not drive a whole lot this week. Bye, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care, thank you so much again. Bring it my back, I feel lighter, but I feel so much better. I take back what I said, everything is heavy. <laughs> we're attempting to take the Barcelona Metro all the way to the airport. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, I'm not sure if we're going to the right spot, because Google Maps is telling me to go another way, but that would have meant that we'd have to get on a bus and I'm not particularly wanting to do that, so we'll see what happens. Obviously the easiest thing we could have done was to get a taxi. There were a ton outside of our station near where we were staying, but it would have been like 35 to 40 euros to get a taxi to the airport. And we just felt like taking the subway, we had an extra ride. You're supposed to buy an airport specific ticket, but we're just gonna kind of see what happens. But I think today is more about trying to challenge ourselves. This might be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. A little bit more on that later. I accidentally walked us out of the exit. <laughs> Thankfully we had one more ride. I've made jokes in the past about escalators, but it's really nice to have them when you got bads. Because we've not had them at every turn. As I said earlier, we need a specific ticket in order to get from our place to the airport by in the metro. We are at the airport, but we have to get this thing validated, so we're probably gonna end up having to pay out of pocket for, I guess, the upgraded fare. You gotta buy a specific ticket. So ticket type, airport journey ticket. Oh, that's tragic. Deal, but we made it through. Say goodbye to Spain. I'm kind of sad. Yeah, it feels weird leaving. And speaking of getting uncomfortable, more on that later. Holy smokes. Sorry. <laughs> How many times are you going to say that? As many times as it takes to get across that we are going to be very uncomfortable. We made it through security. Instead of our go to our gate, we're gonna go to the Sala VIP lounge. It's gonna be free food, coffee. Uh, we'll have a, about an hour and a half to kill in there before we take off for Malta. Now we got some coffee, some bread, meats and cheeses, and some orange juice. There's everything. I'll try and go up there and get the camera in front of it so that you can see all that you can get here in the Sala Lounge in Barcelona at Terminal 2. That might be the last time you say Oscar I know. Well, we'll be back to Spain. Yeah, but for now. Yeah. We are going to Malta. Malta. Oh, yeah. It's our second country, which is really exciting. Didn't check Seat Guru before we booked our seats on this Ryan Airlines flight. I'm trying to make the best of the situation by taking a little bit of that so that hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of taking off and then landing footage. If you're ever flying on Ryanair, 11 and 12 share a window. What happened here? You trying to buckle? <laughs>
made it through customs. Didn't have too much of an issue. We're going to get our rental car. More on that in a second. So if you notice anything about these cars, they're a little different from what we're used to. How you feeling? So great. The it's car? gonna be weird. It's gonna be really weird. I'm so nervous. I know you are. I'm so nervous. It'll be okay. Welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> How's Trey feeling? I'm not feeling great. <laughs> this is, uh, okay. So, okay. So no six gear reverse is, okay. Okay. Do you want to go exchange? We might not drive a whole lot this week. The opposite side of what I'm used to. It feels like an absolute spaceship. Left side. One's coming. I'm going. Woohoo! We're on the road. What in the world? <sighs> I'm gonna get in the left lane just to try and somewhat acclimate myself. This might be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. I'm not crow, oh my god, I'm on the right side of the road. It's okay. Even like sitting on this side of the car, like I feel like I should be driving right now. And I think that's the weirdest part. Why are you honking, sir? I think we should start a driving series on all the places that Trey has driven. <laughs> and like start throwing in some random automobiles in there or different types of transportation. Maybe somewhere he rides a horse and he drives us via carriage somewhere. <laughs> just a bunch of random stuff where Trey just has to get us from one place to another in them. <laughs> I don't know, man. This isn't too terrible thus far. I'm not screaming like I was in Spain. What will do me in are like turns and stuff like that. Like turning right's gonna feel weird. Yeah. Thankfully I've had like nothing but roundabouts thus far. Yeah. Is this two lanes or is this one lane? I, you know, it remains to be seen. <laughs> okay. I saw, I messed that up. I messed that up. I panicked. I made a split second decision. Thankfully there's like, we're not going fast though. No. That's a good thing. We've not left fourth gear. Okay, so now we got a green. So this road is turning right. And that's not what we want to do. It is, we it is in fact not what we want to do. Holy smokes. Sorry. Focus what? on the road. I'm trying, man. <laughs> I can't focus on much else. If I was focusing on anything else, we would probably not be sitting here. So now you're probably thinking, Trey and Hannah, why did you get a manual vehicle? I was at the Avis counter and they told me that they had an automatic available, but it was like seven euros more per day. It would have been like 50, 60, it would have been double the price. This was only $63 for the entire week. I'm gonna get in this lane. So instead, I decided to stick with this stick shift because we're gonna have to spend a lot of time in the UK this year. Um, and that's due to a Schengen restriction. I can go more into that if you want me to. It's a considerable difference between uh, prices for an automatic vehicle and prices for a manual vehicle over there. So I'm, my thought process was, okay, if I get really comfortable here, then maybe I'll be able to you know, save some money by getting a rental car in the UK that you know, is a manual. We have also gotten some questions about how we're able to stay in Europe for a year, what visa we got, how we're able to travel to all of these countries, even within the Schengen area and the Schengen restrictions and any other restriction that might come up while you're traveling in Europe. We have answered some of those questions over on our Instagram page, but we will also be doing kind of a tips and tricks video later on. We've only been traveling for about a month, so we don't have a ton of little nuggets of wisdom yet. We're hoping to have a video soon where we can kind of dive more into that. So if there's anything that you want to know, get in the comment section below and let us know what you want us to talk about. Whoa. Yeet, yeet, yup. Did you imagine if I made it through this, this roundabout on skating? Woohoo, woohoo. I've been pretty lucky. I've not had to make a right turn the entire time. It's about to change though. This is our little city that we're staying in. Oh. Holy smokes. Am I allowed to turn right on red? No, no, that would be like turning left on red. Yes. Jeez. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Oh, we're turning oh, right follow here. follow that guy. Yeah. 
You did it! I did it. Your I, first turn! I did it. I'm an international man. We've parked and now we're walking down the street to see our Airbnb. 23 mile an hour winds. Yes. We're just bringing the wind everywhere we go. Yeah, it blew my hat clear off my head. But we made it. Our Airbnb is right behind us. It is absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful out here. This is different. Theme and a nice little view. Yeah, I guess this is us. We got a desk, a really nice view. We got a little bathroom. We got too much room here. Very large deck. View of the ocean. I can't complain. We're so excited to spend the next week in Malta and explore all the things that we can. And we'll see you on our next adventure in Malta. I have no idea what we're gonna do. That's I think that's the most crazy. exciting part. It's like, we have no idea what to expect about this place. There's gonna be a few 60 degree days here and there. So maybe we'll go to the beach and just explore. But we'll see you next time. Our Airbnb host gave us like all these different ways that we could get to the airport. <laughs> she said, but if you prefer to be a rat, you can go in the metro. And now I kind of feel like a rat because we were in the dark. And then we come out here and I'm like, <laughs> yep. first of all, I don't even know how to get the seat back because I don't even know. I don't know. Do they got a Walmart here? What about a Bubba Grump Shrimp Company? I need my shrimp. Prawns, is that what they're called? Second country of this this trip, I am culture. I got a fancy car right beside me. He's trying to go fast. Oh yes, it is. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Hold on, hold on. Fourth gear. This is weird. I just opened that and there was a construction guy like pouring water in a bucket and he was just like <laughs> Oh. <laughs> my name's Hannah and welcome to my crib. That's how I feel in this place. <laughs>